they have survived the religious purges of the Reformation, the sectarian violence of the English civil wars, even the widespread whitewashing of church walls in the 19th century. But now hundreds of priceless medieval panel paintings in churches across East Anglia, depicting gruesome scenes from hell, biblical figures, English monarchs and angels and apostles, face a new and potentially deadly threat, death watch beetles. Infestations of insects and bats are among the problems increasingly bedeviling Britain's ancient, leaky churches which are struggling to pay for repairs as congregations and income dwindle. Death watch beetles are boring through wood, creating holes twice the size of those made by woodworm, bats are urinating over paintings, causing white spotting and chemically altering the paint, while moisture and fluctuations in humidity are also causing paint to flake. Various bodies including the Hamilton Kerr Institute at Cambridge University and the Church Buildings Council, are involved with a major project to save these treasures. They have submitted a bid for about £1 million to the Arts and Humanities Research Council, warning of the need to investigate, safeguard and record these treasures before they are lost due to theft, neglect or lack of awareness. A decision is expected shortly. Their submitted bid notes. East Anglia is extremely rich in late medieval painted wooden church screens. Examples are found in more than 40% of the medieval churches, putting the lie to the received wisdom that all pre-Reformation art was violently smashed. Most are rude screens. Sited between the nave and chancel and formally topped by a crucifix, rude, more than 500 examples survive, many stripped of their paint, within the historical dioceses of Norwich and Ely in higher density than anywhere else. Around 200 of 350 medieval paintings in Britain are in East Anglia. The report notes, these objects are extremely vulnerable. Screens are threatened by humidity, temperature, light and degradation from pests. Without a conservation strategy, they will be lost forever. Drive Lucy Rapso, a Hamilton Kerr senior conservator, said there's really no question that paintings will be lost. You lose paint over time, and once you lose it, it's irreplaceable. It's a slow trip, trip, trip. Unless you are able to keep the building intact and drain the rainwater, they can be terribly vulnerable to damp and environmental problems. While there are very good examples of medieval paintings in Devon, Cornwall and Somerset, that there's nothing comparable to East Anglia's collection, Rapso said. Barton Turf and Raworth are among the most exquisite screens in Norfolk, and Bramfield in Suffolk is also a gem. They are all beautifully painted in bright oil colours using pigments such as vermilion. The lower parts of these screens have the painted figures of saints and angels along the dado. At Raworth, images include dramatic figures of St. Michael and St. George slaying their respective dragons. At Barton Turf, they feature St. Apollia, patron saint of dentistry holding a tooth in her pincers.